Hello, welcome to some more Tesla news. The big news is today, full autonomy for all Teslas off the production line starting today or a couple days ago. <laughs> big announcement from Tesla. They've upgraded the autopilot suite. It's huge. If you can see in the video right here, they're showing a Tesla driving to work over at the Tesla factory with no intervention from the human at all. He's just there for regulatory, like legally he's got to be there, but technically he's not doing anything. He gets out at the end and the car goes and it looks for a spot to park and it parks itself. It's, it's amazing. <laughs> in true Tesla fashion, the hardware is in all the vehicles, including the Model S, the Model X, and the Model 3 starting today. Everything being built has it all in there hardware-wise. Software-wise, not so much. In fact, they say the current autopilot suite won't even be working in software until the December time frame. So if you get a new car being delivered in the next couple weeks, it'll have all the hardware, but you'll actually have less features than the people with the current uh, autopilot hardware, which is, which is kind of weird. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Elon's saying that with this new hardware, this will enable the cross country autonomous driving. So they want to demonstrate by the end of next year, having a Tesla drive from like New York to LA and He's saying the charging will even be done by the, the snake charger. It sounds like certain superchargers will have the automatic charging enabled. So not all of them will, or maybe only one of them at each stall or something, something along those lines. They're gonna introduce features for the new autopilot suite every three months or so. They'll be adding features in just kind of like they did with the previous generation and hopefully have it, you know, to full level five autonomy in about a year, but the regulatory still may take longer than that for it to be legal to you know do hands-free sleeping in the back type of thing, even though the hardware's there. Elon said on Twitter, when you want your car to return, tap summon on your phone and it'll eventually find you even if you're on the other side of the country. <laughs> I can't get over how cool it is. Using advanced sensor coverage with eight surround cameras that'll provide a 360 degree of visibility around the car up to 250 meters range. 12 updated ultrasonic sensors complete the vision allowing for detection of both hard and soft objects at nearly twice the distance of prior system. A forward-facing radar with enhanced processing provides additional data around the world on redundant wavelength that is able to see through heavy rain, fog, dust, and even the car ahead. So this is the same radar that's in the current autopilot system. But what's different is instead of one camera, you got eight. <laughs> and it's interesting because on the features, if you go to order a car right now, you have enhanced autopilot, which uses four cameras. Three of those cameras are in the same mount. So you've got a, a wide, a medium, and a telephoto. If you want full autonomy, it's additional like $3,000 on top of the $5,000 for the, for the autopilot. So autopilot's gone up in price, and then the full autonomy feature's going up in price. And if you want to add it later, it even costs more. Because if you want to leave off the full autonomy until they actually get the software done, if you do it later rather than when you order it, it's going to cost you more. It, it's interesting. So you can actually uh, leave off all the autopilot stuff and all the safety features will be enabled eventually <laughs> when they're ready. Um, right now it's saying the autopilot safety features aren't available until the software gets updated in December. Processing power increased 40 times. To make sense of all the data, an onboard computer with over 40 times the computing power of the previous generation runs the new Tesla-developed neural net for vision, sonar, and radar processing software. Together, the system provides a view of the world that a driver alone cannot access, seeing in every direction simultaneously on wavelengths that go far beyond human senses. So they're saying technically the car, because it can see all around it at all times with you know regular image processing, but it's also got the ultrasonics that can see in conditions that a human eye can't see and the radar can see things that humans can't see like the car in front of the car in front of you. So there, this is how they're saying that it's going to be at least, at the very least, twice as safe to, as a human driver and they really want to see it to be like 10 times safer before they really want you sleeping in the back seat. Enhanced Autopilot adds these new capabilities to the Tesla Autopilot driving experience. Your Tesla will match the speed of traffic conditions, keep within the lane, automatically change lanes without requiring driver input. 
transition from one freeway to the other, exit the freeway when your destination is near, self-park when near a parking spot, and be summoned to you from your garage. Tesla's enhanced autopilot software is expected to complete validation and be rolled out to your car via an over-air update in December 2016 subject to regulatory approval. Um, all the enhanced versions of autopilot will also be ready. That means they're showing like it pulling out of a, a car garage and actually kind of going around to the front of the house, um, which is something the current summon doesn't really do. It just kind of goes in a straight line and kind of avoids a little bit of stuff. Uh, On-ramp to off-ramp. This one's a little tricky because they kind of promised this with the current autopilot. And now they're saying they can actually do it with the new autopilot, which worries me a little bit saying that, well, if this is 2.0 hardware, is there going to be a 2.5 that's really going to be autonomous? Because are they missing something in this suite? <laughs> um, anyways, uh, once on the freeway, your test will determine which lane to be in uh, and when, in addition to ensuring you reach your intended exit. So basically, it's going to weave around in traffic when needed by itself. You won't even have to do the turn signal. This is part of the enhanced autopilot before it's fu fully self-driving. So it's still only going on ramp, on ramp to off ramp, just freeway driving. So Auto Steer Plus with Tesla's new vision cameras, sensors, and computing power, your Tesla will navigate tighter, more complex roads. They're saying it's just going to be a better version of the current autopilot. Smart Summon. With Smart Summon, your car will navigate more complex environments and parking spaces, maneuvering around objects as necessary to come find you. That's what I was just saying about it, kind of going around a building to get it to you. Full self-driving capability. Build upon enhanced autopilot and order full self-driving capability on your Tesla. This doubles the number of active cameras from four to eight, enabling full self-driving in almost all circumstances. Almost all circumstances. And what we believe will be a probability of safety at least twice as good as the average human driver. The system is designed to be able to conduct short and long distance trips with no action required by the person in the driver's seat for superchargers that have automatic charge connection enabled, you will not even need to plug in your vehicle. All you will need to do is get in and tell your car where to go. If you don't say anything, the car will look at your calendar and take you where there is assumed destination or home if there's nothing on the calendar. That's pretty cool. You just get into your car and if your schedules go to work, it'll take you to work. If you have nothing and you get in your car at work, it'll take you home. <laughs> Your Tesla will figure out the optimal route, navigate urban streets, even without lane markings, manage complex intersections with traffic lights, stop signs, and roundabouts. Roundabouts suck. <laughs> I would gladly let it take over as long as it doesn't kill me. And handle densely packed freeways with cars moving at high speed. When you arrive at your destination, simply step out at the entrance and your car will enter park seek mode. Automatically search for a spot and park itself tap on your phone summons it back to you. Uh, please note that the self-driving functionality is dependent on extensive software validation and regulatory approval, which may vary widely by jur jurisdiction. So I mean, some countries may never allow it and uh, not all these features will be enabled. It'll be interesting to see which ones will take it up. It sounds like the US is fairly forward thinking um, It'll be a while before full level five autonomy, but they're probably gonna allow a lot of this if you're touching the wheel to take over. So more of a level three, level four-ish. Please note also that using a self-driving Tesla for car sharing and ride hailing for friends and family is fine, but doing so for revenue purposes will only be permissible on the Tesla network, details of which will be released next year. This is where you can opt into the Tesla network and your car will go make money for you. So you can't directly do it, like, just, you know, log into Uber, throw your car or your phone in your car and let your car do the work. So this is how Tesla is going to do their, their car sh sharing. It's, it's kind of neat. <laughs> They're going to give more details on this next year. So the new Autopilot, most advanced production vehicle in the world, I'd, I'd assume. It's apparently going to be powered by an NVIDIA GPU. The Titan GPU is what they're saying. <laughs> so it'll be interesting to see how much power that draws from your range. And uh, Musk was also tweeting that it's going to be upgradable. So um, that, that's also interesting, too. You'll actually be able to upgrade the guts of the car by changing out a board, hopefully. 
what you can't currently do. Um, and if anybody that uses a current Tesla knows the, the display is pretty laggy compared to today's smartphones versus when the Tesla first came out. It hasn't changed much. So that'd be cool to be able to change that out. So I did a little, little, little thing and I was configuring what is the cheapest you can get the full autonomy on a Model S and X right now. And so the Model S, $75,500, or if you use my referral code, <laughs> you can save a thousand bucks. So you can get it for $74,500. And that's with the destination fee. That's the cheapest you can get a fully autonomous hardware with the software enabled car right now. And the Model X, because they don't have a 60 anymore, they have the low, uh, 75D, the lowest you can get one of those for is $93,500. Or if you use a referral code, you know, obviously $92,500. So it's a pretty big difference because they got rid of that 60 kilowatt hour software limited X. So there's a lot of information. Please ask questions below. Like I said, a lot of information, really cool fully autonomous cars. Please subscribe. I'm going to try and put out the, these videos a little bit more regularly on all the Tesla news. We'll see you guys again soon. Come out and play! Uh, like when they do music videos and, and there's a beat and it kind of goes blurry, like, you know, like, like with the bass. Like, <laughs> What is that? Okay, where is this saying? You don't understand how it's a huge deal. Start watching all the videos. Another game save exploit. The cool thing about this one is it works with all PCs across the board. I know I could get at least 5,000 down the street. Looks stronger to me. Yes, it's a lie. I'm Yago. I'm Couch Guy. Hi, I'm Box. And I'm Raggable. Pretty cool stuff, huh? What? And where can you find that? You better go wait outside. We don't, we don't want any trouble.